Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to add custom options for Magento. Now, um, let's say you own a store, like obviously you own a store, but let's say you sell a lot of things and one of those things is clothing. Okay, so in this case we'll use this pet store right here. Okay. They sell a lot of things, but they also sell uh, products that have variations for size and color. And now in Magento, it gives you the flexibility. You can create the attributes for this, okay, for size and color as a custom option, or you can create it as a configurable product. But in this tutorial, we'll cover how to just create it for this one particular item. If you sell exclusively clothes, let's say, and there are many variants, then you probably don't want to use this option. But with the custom option, you can just use it for any product and then uh, have the behavior like this. Okay, so we have a size and a color attribute. So let's log into our Magento. And we will go to, uh, let's see, blah, 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 manage products. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we'll add a new product. And we'll use a simple product. And let's go find, this is just a demonstration. So we'll just uh, find a product here. Go there. We'll put in the description and we'll put in the title okay so let's see let's put in the title hoodie so urban hund hoodie so urban hund hoodie now this is available in extra small small large and then extra large so what we'll do is we'll, for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll put the short description right by where the product display is and beneath it. We'll put in the SKU. You can put in whatever you want there, but again, this is just a demonstration. So we'll put in the SKU. And we'll put in the weight. I have the weight information. Uh, okay. So if you want it to show up, if you want your product to show up on the front page uh, where you see the product display page is a new product. <clears throat> so what I mean is when you go here, you want it to show up here as a new product. To do that, you would simply set a new from date. I usually do it. Oops, sorry. I usually go 10 days. You don't want to do it for a year. So you get it. Uh, let's see. All right. So today. Okay. And then you want to go. I usually go 10 days. You want to enable it. Just carry out how you would add a product. Okay, so for the price, you want to put in the price. So our price is $24.95. Right? There's no special price. Uh, we'll cover SEO in another tutorial, but for now, let's use this. I'll put in the description, it's the meta description. All right, images. Remember, just go through the process as if you are adding a Magento product. Um, but do that, upload the file, put one. All right, 
can leave that alone. We're using a theme, so we'll just go there, uh, and that's fine. We have a hundred in stock, and it is in stock. Okay, categories. All right. So to show up on the front page, remember, you have to choose the default category and then what category you actually want it in. So this is clothing. Okay, so put it in clothing. Related products. None. All right. So now we get to custom options. Okay, we want to create an attribute just for this product specifically. We don't want to go through creating the attribute as a configurable product in the system. That's a whole another separate process. We just want it for this product. So to do that, you just go add new option and we'll have one for size. And we want a drop down menu fashion because they have you have choices. You have radio buttons, checkbox and multiple select. Is this required? Yes. So order we want to have is one we want this to show up before the color attribute and then we go ahead and add new roles uh, new rows <laughs> sorry so we have a small actually remember we talked about extra small so extra small extra all right so we have small medium add a new role large we go extra large. Now this is important. You want to make sure the SKU is the same. Um, if there's a price variation, you would put it in here. So your base price, and then if it's a different price for each one of this, plus your base price. Okay, but forget that. But this is important. You want to make sure you go one, two, three, four, and five. You have to do this to make sure that when it's ordered, it comes in this order as it is ordered extra small small in the drop down okay if you don't put anything in there just take anything randomly here so we got this and now we want to add a new app option for color remember the sort order is still one so you want to go color okay and you want it in a drop down fashion okay and it make sure it is required both of these is required okay you want to make this is the sort order too you want to add the rows okay so we have one two three four five and we have one two three four and then five okay so we actually have a let's take a look gray pink and blue all right so we actually just only have three colors gray pink and blue so we go gray pink and blue all right so we want to get rid of this we want to get rid of that everything here this doesn't matter but uh, one, two. this doesn't matter really it can be any color here one two three all right so we're done let's see how we did so let's go to the site Whenever you're making a lot of changes in Magento, you always want to get into the habit of flushing your cache just so that it, sh you know, uh, it shows up on the front. But we already did. Anyway, best practice. But anyways, let's go to the front page. As you can see, the product shows up here as a new product because we set it that way. And let's click on the product. Okay. You see the product, the description, and then the variant. So you get extra small, small, medium, large. People are required to select this before they move on. And we are done. Okay, here we are. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and follow uh, Primus Web on Twitter and subscribe to this channel if you found this tutorial helpful.